Hi there. This is not so much a trap, rather a general strategic idea for black against the stonewall attack, and it's called smashing the stonewall. White opens d4, and after knight f6, e3, black goes for the fianchetto line with g6, and then bishop d3. This could even be a collie so far for white. After bishop g7 and knight d2, black castles, and now f4, and we see that white is going for the stonewall attack. That's usually punctuated by pawns on c3, d4, e3, and f4. And it can be a devastating system. In fact, uh, one of my charges just played this against the girl youth champion of Israel and totally demolished her. And what's interesting in it is that it seems to be most effective against d5 when black has played d5 because then the e5 square can serve as an outpost for one of the white knights and also black is unlikely to get in an e5 pawn push so that is when black has played d5 so a good option here for black is to avoid playing d5 and go for a king's indian type setup with d6 and here Black can rest the initiative. If white continues knight g f3, black can play knight c6, and we see everything is aimed at that e5 square. And after c3 by white, e5 by black is going to give black a slight advantage. The game might continue with castles, queen e7, and possibly this pawn is going to head for e4, so queen c2 denies that option, rook e8. Um, renews that option for black and here it's safe to say that black has certainly achieved at least equality so this is not so much a trap rather just a strategic idea for black against the stonewall attack it's called smashing the stonewall thanks for watching bye